Hey guys, what's going on? If this is your third time seeing these videos, I appreciate you coming back. If this is your first time finding my channel, please go back and hit the first two videos. I talked about how to solder two wires together, the best way, the wrong way, using heat shrink with solder and my favorite soldering iron, the pine sole. Just kidding. It's not hot. Promise. Not even plugged in. Uh, this second video I showed you how to use no solder and use the solderless or the crimpless bud connectors. I can't say they're solderless because there is solder right there, that silver stuff. You'll know it's a good connection by having a nice shiny wire at the end. Now, if you've been paying attention, I said we're going to light things up in this third video, and we are. I have LED strips. I have aluminum channel, diffusers, and I have a window. So I'm going to outline this window with the channel, put the LED strip inside it, snap on the diffusers, power it up, make things blink. I'm going to go ahead and put my... LED channel up here so I know the distance of the LED strip I'm going to need per this channel. Now you could use a tape measure or you can just put it to where it is and draw a line across the bottom. As you can see that there's my line. Every square, 45 angle, right here. Grab your tin snips. If you don't have any, Harbor Freight is your best friend. There's probably a better way to cut these, maybe. This is what I use, it works okay. If you had a miter saw and you had a metal blade, it would probably work so much better than this. You wouldn't have a bent edge like I'm about to get and you'll see it, see that. Yeah, so it's, it's not great, uh, but it gets the job done. And well, if you're complaining, I can't hear you. So there you are, it's not too bad. Uh, I'll be able to fix out the pair of pliers.
when you cut this LED strip, you want to cut right there at that line. Uh, that way you got solder pads on both sides. And you could say, well, why are you going to cut this off? Because that's how you would start. Well, because if I didn't, I couldn't show you how to solder. So I'm going to cut it off. Cut. Now, big problem with this weather protective stuff, it, it is a huge pain to get to those solder joints. So when you're using inside LED strips, uh, just normal IP30, you don't, you don't need this kind of stuff. The reason I use it is for Christmas arches. Uh, if you're interested in how I build Christmas arches and you want to see that, hit me up in the comments. I know someone out there has got to be interested in it. I was, that's why I started doing it. So if you're interested in Christmas arches, and you're watching this video, say, hey, show me how to make a Christmas arch. I'll show you how I do that. You could watch other people make Christmas arches, but I'm much more enjoyable than other people. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video, right? Of course. Of course, that's why. Uh, like I said, this is awful to cut off. Whoa, we about to cut my hand, and you would have saw that. So put the knife down when you're trying to take this stuff off. I'm gonna blame the camera, that's, that's why. But now, look how shiny that is. Beautiful pads. Okay, I'm gonna plug in the soldering iron. Everybody remember my favorite? Pinesel, this thing is amazing. Watch how fast it heats up. You ready? Look at that. Would you just look at it? Might be too hot for LED strips. Uh, but I think it'll work for today's demonstration. First things first with LED strips of any kind. Can't go from the back on LED strips like you can on wiring. You put your solder iron right there at the tip of the pad and put the solder and make a nice pad of solder, solder two. And the reason you do that is because it's called tinning the LED strip and you're gonna tin the wires next. And when we tin the wires and you tin the LED strip, it goes together so smoothly. Now, another way to do it would to be if you had just your wire and you went to try to solder it on there and force feed that solder. Uh, not gonna work very well. People do it, but this guy does not. So trust the bald guy, because I'm the stranger on the YouTube that's telling you how I do it. I don't have any other credentials other than that, but that's what I do. Okay, so now I have my wire next to me, and we are going to strip that back too. So I'm not using much, uh, I'm not using, I'm not going to be using much power here. So I'm only running about 18 gauge. Uh, but if you're interested in a very good write up on OED current, I would recommend. A guy named Quindor, and I'm going to link his website below. And he he really gives a lot of good detail of how much OED current uh, the wires can handle, and how you successfully uh, send a lot of current to small gauge wire, uh, and how that works well. So uh, without Explaining that a whole lot. I'll let you do the reading if you're interested. Like I said, I will put his link down below uh, to grab his his information and some of his boards if you're interested. So something else you need to look at here on the, the strip. If I can get you to zoom in real, really close. So you got the 12 volt right there, data in and ground up top. I'm OCD, 
So red will always be power. OCD or write is what I like to call it. So anyway, so I'm soldering here. I'm going to tin the ends nice and tinned. And now I'm going to readjust the helping hand to get that to help a little better than what it's doing so it stays where it needs to be. So when I started uh, my Christmas lights, I anticipated using LED strips outside. This would have been awful. Fine to do at the times you need to do it, but not something I wanted to do a whole house worth of. Once again, I don't plan to really get into too many Christmas light uh, videos, but if the people want it, you tell me. You want to see some Christmas videos? We can put up some Christmas light videos. we go now 10 connections nothing's touching and we're gonna have power real soon Look at I get a fix. Too short. A more professional individual would probably have redid this video and acted like nothing ever happened. But luckily for us, I'm not that kind of professional. So I want to show you how to fix the screw up that I did because it's probably gonna to happen to you at one point too. So, I have not ever attempted this, but I'm just going to use two ends and solder them directly. Uh, it should work fine. I got it close-ish enough. Uh, the problem is, is that we are on aluminum channel, so my solder leaks to the backing, which is a good point. I should probably put something down to stop that. Pause, please. I'll find something. See the black behind it? Electric tape. We're going to call that good enough. All right, we're going to try to solder these together. And uh, the best I can, I'm going to show you if I can set this camera up to get a good angle. All right, you look to have a good angle, arguably. Got a better view than I do. Let's try this. This is... Oh, I don't enjoy this. At all. I think we got it. YouTube, what do you think? Did I fix it? 
I am highly excited about that. Now, typically we have a diffuser and I have them, but uh, we're gonna power it up and we're gonna see what happens. This fun looking box hosts a dig quad LED controller. Uh, it is developed with Dr. Z's and Quindor. I mentioned him earlier about the LED wire sizing and calculation. If you're using more than the probably one amp that I'm using here, uh, recommend them. They're, they're very good controllers, very good support. Uh, Quindor and Dr. Z's himself are masterminds. Uh, they are fantastic people. Well, I, I mean, personally, I don't know them, but they're a lot of fun. If you think I screw stuff up on the channel, Quindor, uh, I'm pretty sure he blows things up on the regular just to see what what he can get away with and what he cannot. So he's a fun channel to find too. Quinn LED is his channel. Or Quindor, you might find him that way too. Then Dr. Z's is the doctor. And it's, uh, I think, three Z's, maybe four Z's. There's only one. He's definitely a uh, an LED holiday light guy. And he's got some good stuff as well. Check their channels out. If you want to know more about this board or more LED content, it's a good place to start. We have lights. Look at that green window. Why? Because why not? So, yeah, thanks for sticking around. If you watched till the very end, I cannot thank you enough for still being with me. Hit subscribe, like, share to all your friends about the ball guy who messed up his own window install and then had to fix it in the channel. Uh, hey, but we did. Look, I got all the lights. It worked. So I appreciate you guys sticking around. Thanks a ton. Uh, like, subscribe, and we're going to have a lot of fun in this channel. Thanks for watching.